My name is Rachel Kuhisa and I'm a master's student at the University of Iowa. Um, my master's degree is in hydraulics and water resources engineering. My um, undergraduate was in plain civil engineering with a focus in water resources and I guess um, I've always been kind of interested in the way things work but I was never like a mechanical tinkerer but I knew that there had to be something else about how something else about solving problems and, and talking to people to figure out what what's going on here and figure out viable solutions. And so when I when I started in civil, I was really interested about um, sort of the idea of being a public servant, a civil servant, so, so that my main motivation really is to serve, you know, the people that I live with, my community, and that, um, as mushy as that sounds, is, is really rewarding for me. Um, and so further in my career, I'd like to be consulting um, so that I can see whatever designs or suggestions that I come up with sort of put in practice to be able to like drive by a best management practice and be like, oh yeah, I designed that thing. Um, but moreover, to also know that, you know, everybody downstream of that best management practice is, is somehow benefiting from this thing. Um, and so this project is the Coral Ridge Ave monitoring project. and. Um, it started with the, the city of Coralville, our Amy Foster just wanted to know uh, if I put these biocells in, how well are they going to do? And so Art Bettis had the instrumentation and had the idea and I came along and said, hey, I would really like to do a master's project from the perspective of uh, the engineer designing these things. So I come out, um, I came out early in the spring when it was really cold and I put in these instruments that um, there's a weir so that I have controlled flow and then I have pressure transducers recording the depth so that I can turn those depths into um, a flow rate. And I also have electrical conductivity meters. And so those measure um, how uh, electrons move in the water, which in perfect water is not at all. But as soon as you add anything that's dissolved, like a, a salt, um, like even the road salt that they apply during the winter, then suddenly that, that makes a measurable amount of electrical conductivity. And so those meters are doing that. Um, and so those are continuous records. And then I also have these first flush devices, which are designed to capture the first bit of water entering um, from the inlet. And so I get those for most of the events that come through the system. And then for even larger events, I come out and do grab samples that we send to the state, hy state hygienic lab. Um, and in those grab samples, they're, they're not continuous, but they do provide a snapshot in time about the content of total suspended solids, um, heavy metals, nitrogen, phosphorus, uh, total hydrocarbons, or like this, the sorts of pollutants that come off of cars, um, the wear and tear from your tires and that sort of thing. Um, and also E. coli as a, a bacterial indicator as, as for the water quality coming in and going out. So, Every weekend I'm coming out here because we don't have the kinds of data that is transmitted via cell signal back to any sort of campus. So I have to come out here and physically download from these items. Uh, they are loggers, so they're tiny little computers that store all of the data as it comes in. The sensors um, live in this pipe and so they have access to the water there. And so I just come, um, this first one is uh, the water level and the second one is uh, electrical conductivity. And this logger is actually kind of cool because you can set up multiple devices to record to it. I've only got one, um, but if you had, if you wanted to do electrical conductivity in wells, um, really tightly spaced and could run all the cables up here, this this bad boy can store all of that data. Um, what I really love about this kind of work is that it's not just an engineering design thing. Um, so these cells exist because somebody sat in a room and drew up these designs and somebody else came out here and dug the hole and put in the different kinds of engineered media. And somebody way before this process did research on um, what kind of media you should put in and what kinds of effects we're trying to achieve. Um, and, and then past the installation of this project, there's, there's little things like not throwing trash out on the highway or like picking things up when you're walking around. And, and it really just becomes both temporally and spatially um, a community level thing because we're all you know made up of water, drink water every day. And so to pretend that it's not universal is, is kind of silly, but, but that also on the flip side means that we all get to kind of work together and put, play some small role in our watershed's health.